Of course you know how much I sing the praises of intermittent fasting. I've explained to you the benefits, I've provided you a lot of tips on how to get started with intermittent fasting, but I also want you to be ready just in case some of the side effects hit you as you start your intermittent fasting journey. Hi, it's Greg Whitmore from Taiyi Mountain Wellness. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, it's a pleasure to have you here. I hope you'll consider subscribing hit that bell notification so you'll get notified when I put out new videos having to do with health and wellness and intermittent fasting. So again, as you start out intermittent fasting, you have to be ready for some side effects. Now some of these may affect you and some you may never see, but if you're prepared for them, that won't derail you from starting your intermittent fasting. So let's get right to it. Let's go to my computer. So let's start talking about side effects. Now one thing to keep in mind, even though we're talking about side effects, I'm here to tell you that the benefits far outweigh the side effects. I haven't heard of anyone that the side effects really got to them so much or lasted so long that they didn't see any of the benefits. That doesn't mean that you won't see any side effects but you'll see so many more benefits if you keep at intermittent fasting. The other thing to keep in mind is these are usually temporary. They don't last very long. Sometimes they don't even happen. Not all people will experience these. I experienced a few of them a little bit, but I've heard of people that have experienced no side effects. Severity of the side effects or whether they even occur oftentimes depends on your health. If you start fairly healthy, good gut health, good overall health, you may not experience some of these. But if you start and you're already unhealthy a bit, you need to get your metabolic system back in sync, get your gut health better, and these side effects will go away. But knowing that they could show up and then being prepared for them and how to deal with them when, if they do show up will help you and keep you from getting derailed and you can continue on and get all those benefits. So when we're talking about side effects, I think the number one side effect that you'll always hear is hunger. That probably goes for any diet you may have tried, but remember intermittent fasting isn't a diet, it's an eating pattern. And hunger is temporary as well. It comes in waves. I'm gonna put a whole video out on the effects of hunger as you intermittent fast because it's so key that we're able to get through these waves of hunger and understand what causes hunger. It's not just our lack of willpower. A lot of it has to do with the habits that we have, the hormones that are secreted that cause hum hunger, and some of the hormones that are secreted that cause satiety or us to feel full. So I think hunger is worth a video all by itself, but just know that will be a side effect that virtually everyone experiences. Angriness. Now, sometimes moodiness, irritability goes along with, with being hungry and not having a meal when you're used to. Some people it affects more than others. Angriness really hasn't been an issue for me. Now my wife, she will notice sometimes and she will get moody and we know it's time to get her some food. So be prepared for that. Bloating, now this often happens probably more after you break your fast. Some of these, the next few that I'll talk about have to do more with when you do break your fast and you're getting those calories in. Some of these digestive issues will occur. And one that I experienced a little bit was bloating. You just have that gassy feel, I feel really full. But again, that goes away after your body adapts to uh, its meal pattern. Along with that is some of the change in, in bowel habits. Now, sometimes that can be more of a loose stool. Some people even experience a little diarrhea, or it can be on the other extreme and be constipation. That's kind of what I experienced a little bit was more the constipation 
and I just realized that I needed to take a little bit more fiber in as I was reducing a lot of my carbohydrates. I was noticing that uh, I was not getting enough fiber in my diet, so I added some fiber supplements to my diet and added some fibery food so and, and got more vegetables and that that helped. Some people experience a little bit of nausea and again it, it may have to do with the foods that they choose to eat as they break their fast. Sometimes people will eat too much at a meal, almost binge eat after fasting for a while so they may experience a little bit of nausea but again that's usually temporary. Heartburn, we have to remember that our body and our stomach is producing acid in order to digest food. And if we're not eating as much or, or for, we're fasting for longer periods of time, uh, our body is still producing that stomach acid. And sometimes that can get up into our, into our esophagus and cause some heartburn. Headaches. I didn't experience these, but these are pretty common as well. And I found out that these have more to do with probably dehydration and people not getting electrolytes. When they're fasting, they're not getting any moisture or any water content in their food, and they often don't drink a lot of water. So that one's usually pretty easy to take care of by just drinking more water, maybe adding a little bit of sea salt. Some people take some electrolyte supplements or add some potassium and sodium to their water and that cures those headaches. This is a real common one again I kind of felt this for a while this is just feeling cold you're chilled and the good one of good thing about this side effect is this is a sure sign that your body is responding positively to intermittent fasting. Because usually that feeling of coldness means the blood is flowing to your fat stores or your adipose tissue. And so your extremities feel a little bit cold. So that's one of those that, you know, just bundle up a little bit more, but know that the intermittent fasting is working. And there's going to be one more side effect that many of you will experience. I certainly did. And that was you'll likely have to buy new clothes. Again, a lot of you are using intermittent fasting or making it your goal to lose some weight. Now, it wasn't my goal, but I did lose a lot of weight and I had to buy quite a few new clothes. But you know what? I'll take that every time. So I'm sure that's one that you won't mind having as well. So be prepared for these few side effects. As you start your intermittent fasting journey, a change in habit, that change in eating patterns, your body is going to have to adapt to it. So you may experience some of these side effects, but now you'll be prepared for them. Understand that you just have to fight through them for a little while. They're temporary, and then you can get right back on track and see those benefits. Enjoy those benefits. And I've explained these oftentimes, the benefits that I enjoyed. Remember, I lost 32 pounds in just over three months. I hadn't been under 200 pounds in 15 years or more. And when I started intermittent fasting, I dropped weight really quickly in three months. And best of all, unlike a lot of diets that people try, I've kept it off. Again, I had an autoimmune disease. I have videos out on this. I'll put them in the description below. I'll put them up here on the top of this video. But I no longer take any kind of medication. I was taking meds for autoimmune disease that I suffer from, but intermittent fasting allowed me to get off that prednisone. I sleep better, I have more energy, and I'm actually less hungry during the day. So even though hunger is one of the number one side effects, I don't find myself hungry unless I'm doing a really long-term fast. And even then, those are temporary waves that I get through. So deal with those side effects, fight through them, understand they're temporary, and then enjoy some of these benefits. Now, I'd like to offer you this free ebook. If you're just getting started, you want more information, besides watching some of my videos, please subscribe to my free and get my free ebook. All you have to do is go to uh, taimountainwellness.com 
and get my intermittent fasting 101 ebook. It provides a lot of good information on how to get started. I'll also put a link in the description below, but it'll be well worth your time as you're starting your intermittent fasting journey. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And again, hit that bell notification and you'll be notified every time I put out a new video, especially on intermittent fasting. So I appreciate it. Till next time, we'll see you in the next video.